guys um so this is my fake youtube channel it's not fake it's actually a real youtube channel but math with miss b today's lesson will be about uh solving rational equations so welcome you should probably have a sheet of paper so you can practice because you're not gonna learn by staring at my face okay so get a sheet of paper and let go all right solving rational equations so a rational equation is an equation that contains one or more rational expressions you should already know what a rational expression is okay um to solve a rational equation you need to multiply by the lcd what's an lcd least common denominator oh my gosh so good <laughs> you need to multiply by the lcd of all the expressions and after the denominators go away which that's what we want um after this the denominators go away oh sorry i said that wrong and the equations can be solved normally so like eighth grade math all right example number one so i have x minus 18 over x equals three i need to first multiply by the lcd the least common denominator so now when i'm recording when i'm multiplying by the lcd i'm looking at my denominators what's the only denominator in that problem it's the x so i'm multiplying every term in this problem by x so x is multiplied by x 18 over x is multiplied by x and 3 is multiplied by x because i have to keep my equation balanced okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna simplify right x over x is going to simplify y'all like to use the words cancel out but we're trying to get you away from that habit all right so x times x is x squared if those x's simplify out, I'm just left with 18 equals 3 times x, which is 3x. I notice that there is an exponent next to that x. It's an x squared. So when you see a squared, what kind of problem am I dealing with when I see a squared? You should all be screaming, quadratic. Yes, if there's an exponent of 2 and it's your highest exponent, you now have a quadratic on your hands. When you're solving for a quadratic, you need to set the problem equal to 0. Right now, our problem is set equal to 3x. I don't want it set equal to 3x. I want it set equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 3x to get that 3x over to the other side. Okay? I can't combine the 18 and the 3x. Don't do that. They're not like terms. So I put everything on the left hand side in order from greatest exponent to smallest exponent in descending order okay so x squared minus 3x minus 18 equals zero now that my problem is equal to zero and it is a quadratic guess what i should do to solve this problem you guessed it factor we love factoring factoring comes back to haunt us in every single chapter every single section all right, so I need to find two numbers that multiply to give me negative 18 and add to give me negative 3. I don't have time to teach you factoring. x minus 6, x plus 3 equals 0. So now I need to solve. So remember, you set each factor equal to 0 on its own. x minus 6 equals 0, x equals positive 6, and then x plus 3 equals 0. So x equals negative 3. For rational equations, you want to make sure that you remember to check your answer because not all answers work. In this problem, the answers work, so we're Gucci. We're good. All right, so we're just going to move on, but I'll show you later. Example number dos, okay? Again, first thing I'm going to check to do is see if I can multiply by a least common denominator. So look at my denominators. Last problem, I only had one denominator. This time I have two denominators. What are those two denominators? I have a 3 and I have a x, right? So the least common denominator is actually going to be 3x. So I'm going to multiply first term by 3x next term by 3x and another term by 3x okay so then i'm gonna simplify boom boom those threes simplify out don't say cancel the x's in that next term simplify out and then nothing in the last term okay so i'm gonna be left with 10 times x then i'm gonna be left with 4 times 3 which is 12 and then i'm gonna be left with 2 times 3x which is 6x I'm going to give you a second to digest that. Like, yo, a lot just happened on that screen. Okay? So now that I have an equation, I've simplified. I'm looking to see what kind of equation it is. Last time, I ended up with a quadratic. This time, do I have a quadratic? Nah, because there's no exponent of 2. I just got 10x equals 12 plus 6x. That's all. 
okay? So I just need to get my x's on the same side when I'm solving for x, right? So that 6x, we're going to move it to be with the 10x to solve equations like when you was in 7th grade and 8th grade, right? Minus 6x, minus 6x. 10 minus 6x is 4x. And then the 12, we just left it alone. So we just brought it down, okay? So now to get x by itself, I got to get rid of that 4. So that's multiplication. Cancel that multiplication by division, Mm-hmm. Divide by four, divide by four. If you do it on one side, gotta do it on the other. Okay. <laughs> X equals three. Remember to check your answers and make sure they work in the original problem. Okay? Uh, we're not gonna do that for this example because it works, but we're gonna get to that, trust me. Example numero tres. X equals six X minus one. I want you to think. Based on the first two examples, what do you think you're gonna do right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you said multiply every term by x, you are correct. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to multiply everything by x. So x times x is, and oh wait, aha. And then we got to simplify things out. Okay. So x times x is going to give me x squared. I simplified the x's, so I'm just left with 6. And then negative 1 times x is negative x. So what do you notice about the problem that you're left with? Ooh. Y'all see that little exponent over there? Don't let it fool you. It's a quadratic. When you're solving a quadratic, what do you want to do? Set it equal to zero. Set it equal to zero. So I want to push everything to one side of the equation. Oof. <laughs> okay, so first let's move the x. It's a plus x because we want to uh, move a negative x. And then I need to move that 6 over. So minus 6, minus 6. None of those are like terms. So everything's just going to sit next to each other in descending order. x squared plus x minus 6. Okay, equals 0. Now I can do what? The thing that we love to do. Factor, baby. Okay, so when I factor, I'm going to get x minus 2, x plus 3. Because you want to find two numbers that multiply to give you negative 6. Same two numbers have to add to give you a positive 1. So... I'm going to solve now. x minus 2 equals 0. x equals 2. x plus 3 equals 0. x equals negative 3. Again, remember to check your answers and make sure they work in the original problem. An extraneous solution is a solution that does not work in the original problem. So I keep telling you to check your answers, right? And you're like, why does lady keep telling us to check our answers? Well, I'm telling you to check your answers because sometimes you get an extraneous solution. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. Numero cuatro. 5x over x minus 2 equals 3x plus 4 over x minus 2. I am still going to multiply by the LCD. What's my least common denominator? x minus 2. Yes, it is. And there's only one denominator, so I'm going to multiply everything by x minus 2 x minus 2. And what's going to happen? Oh my gosh, the x minus 2s are going to simplify out. Ta-da! So I'm going to get 5x equals 3x plus 4. That's a regular equation, not a quadratic equation, so I'm just going to get my x's on the same side. Minus 3x, minus 3x. So if it's for not, oh my gosh, this problem is just like all the rest of them. Why'd you make a big deal? X equals 2. Well, when you check your answer, which we didn't do in the first three examples, but we're about to do now, okay? What I notice is my original denominators have 2s in them, and my answer is a 2. So what happens if I plug in that 2? I get 2 minus 2, and then 2 minus 2. What is 2 minus 2? 0. 0. So if you plug in 2 for X, you get a 0 in the denominator. And that is not allowed in math. You know that, right? No zeros are allowed to be in the denominator. That's undefined. The calculator is going to give you an error, 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 error. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my mind. Anyway, <laughs> so you're like, yo, Miss B, the answer says X equals 2, but you're telling us when we plug it in that it's an extraneous solution. So what does that mean? Like, what do I put down as my answer? Well, I'm so glad you asked. This problem has no solution because you checked it. It didn't work. The one problem, the one number that should have worked didn't. So you have no solution to the problem. Tough. Example number five. 
2x minus 5 over x minus 8 plus x over 2 equals 11 over x minus 8. You need to multiply by the LCD. I have two denominators in this problem. I have a 2 as one of my denominators, and then I have an x minus 8 as another one of my denominators. So the LCD has to be 2 times x minus 8. So I'm going to multiply the first term by that. Then I'll multiply the second term by that and the last term by that. So I'm going to simplify whatever I need to be able to simplify. Oof, the x minus 8s go away. The 2s go away. The x minus 8s go away. So when I simplify, what am I left with? On the top, I'm going to be left with 2, the purple 2, and then in parentheses, the blue 2x minus 5. And then I'm going to be left with the blue x, and then the purple x minus 8. And then I'll be left with the 11, and then the purple 2. Right? So after that, I'm going to distribute. We love to distribute, okay? So there we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 4x minus 10 plus x squared minus 8x equals 22. You saw my little wink wink when I said the x squared because you already know what it is, right? Okay? I'm going to combine like terms, though, before we get crazy. So I'm going to combine my like terms. So the 4x and the 8x are like terms. So 4 minus 8 is negative 4x, okay? I put everything in descending order. So that means x squared goes first, then the negative 4x. Again, it, it was a negative 4 because the positive 4 and the 8 came together and made a negative 4. And then negative 10 equals positive 22. Now, I need to set the problem equal to 0 because it's a quadratic. You got to pay attention. Sometimes you end up with a quadratic. Sometimes you don't end up with a quadratic. It's your job. Everybody say, your job your job okay to recognize the difference and if you're my student you know i only talk like this when it's a common mistake okay okay so i'm gonna set it equal to zero so that means i'm gonna move that 22 over to the other side it's a positive 22 so to balance it out i'm gonna subtract 22 subtract 22 okay i'm gonna get x squared minus 4x minus 32 equals the zeros okay what do i gotta do now Okay, <laughs> I want you to pause the video and factor on your own because I know y'all don't like to be factoring. So factor the problem on your own before you watch it, before you get the answer from me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm waiting because I know y'all going to be like, oh my gosh, you're just going to do it. Da, 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 da. But that's the part that y'all need the most practice with. So factor because you should already have out a sheet of paper. You should not just be staring at my face while you're in your bed with your covers. Okay, <laughs> x minus 8, x plus 4 equals 0. Good. Look at you. Continuing this problem on the next slide, set equal to 0. Okay, so I have x minus 8, x plus 4 equals 0. Setting that equal to 0, x minus 8 equals 0, x plus 4 equals 0, x equals 8, x equals negative 4. Check your answer. This is where, listen, I mean, I'm going to take off my glasses altogether for this one. You won't get a test. And you're going to be like, oh, I solved the problem, da, 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 da. I got the answer. The, the answers are x equals 8 and x equals negative 4. But what's the problem? You don't know if both of them work. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and check your answers. You're going to go back to your original problem, and you're going to notice that there's a denominator of 8. So I have to plug in that 8, right? 8 minus 8, 8 minus 8. What's 8 minus 8? 0. Am I allowed to have 0 in the denominator? No, I am not. So is 8 going to be considered a solution? No, it's what we call extraneous, okay? The solution 8 is an extraneous solution because when I plug it into the denominator, the denominator comes out as 0. That's not allowed in math. So what's my only solution to this problem? Hello, look at me, x equals negative 4. If you put both of those answers in, guess what's going to happen to that question? It's going to be wrong. Don't do that. All right. Um... Example number six. I think we only have seven examples, so we're almost done. Um, example number six, 16 over x squared minus 16 equals two over x minus four. Okay, this problem's a little weird because the denominators, usually I tell you to find your LCD first, but x squared minus 16 and then x minus four, oh my gosh. What's the LCD? Am I just gonna multiply by x, min x squared minus 16 and x minus four? No, factor the denominator. Ooh, Miss Renat, you're asking a lot. Just do it, though. 
okay? <laughs> That's the difference of two squares. Factor it in your head real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Good, x plus four, x minus four. So now I know that that's what my LCD is gonna be. X plus four, X minus four, X plus four, X minus four. Let's simplify. X minus four, X minus four, X plus four, X plus four, X minus four, X minus four. What is left? Well, on one side, I'm left with a 16. On the other side, I'm left with a two, and parentheses, X plus four. Yay, me. What should I do now? Everybody should say, this tribute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna distribute the two, two times X, is 2x and then 2 times 4 is 8. Very good. Is this a quadratic? Nah. It's a regular equation. So I'm going to go about my business, right? Get x by itself. So 16 x 16 equals 2x plus 8. That 8 got to go. It got to go. It got to go. It got to go. Boop. 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 Divide by 2. I don't, I don't feel like I need to narrate this whole thing over here. Let's check my answer. Original problem. 4. Four. What's four squared? 16. Ooh. What's 16 minus 16? Zero. What's four minus four? Zero. Is that allowed? So your one answer that you got don't work. What do you do? It's an extraneous solution. So this problem has no solution. Whew. Okay. Last example. It. We're about 20 minutes in you're okay all right um i want you to do this one by yourself though so pause the video mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know you should have your little sheet of paper and your little pencil and you got to try try okay you should now have unpaused the video some of y'all know you didn't though multiply by the lcd Six parentheses x minus one. Ugh! Did some of you just multiply by x minus one? Pause the video and do it again with this new knowledge. Okay, so you should multiply all of that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you should simplify. X minus one, x minus one, x minus one, x minus one, six, six. Okay, what is left? Boop. Uh-huh. I distribute it. I multiplied some stuff. Okay. What do you notice about this problem? Come on, y'all. You should be here with me. Got an x squared in it. We don't, not that we don't like it, but we have to treat those differently, right? So first, let's combine the like terms. Once I combine those like terms, I'm going to set the problem equal to zero. In this case, I'm going to move that positive six over to the other side and make it equal to negative six. Okay. I'm going to factor. I'm going to solve. I'm going to check my answers. Why am I going to check my answers? Because one of them might be extraneous. And look, that denominator has one in it. When I plug in that one as my answer, what happens? Zero, zero. Can I have that? No. The solution x equals one is an extraneous solution. Therefore, the only answer to this problem is x equals negative six. Hey. Okay, what am I going to ask you to do? The same thing I'm going to ask you to do at the end of every video. Take out a clean sheet of paper, not the one that you were just writing on. I know some of y'all wasn't writing at all. Um, and I want you to go back through this video and I want you to do the problems, okay? And see if you can do them successfully without my help. You have the answers on that sheet of paper that you were theoretically writing on, okay? Because uh, this is the only way that you're going to make sure that you know what you are doing. And then I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!